is what to expect from rock history music. I'm John Bowden. We started in January of 2016. It's been an amazing run. Of course, we cover music news, current music news from classic rock and pop and sometimes prog and a little metal here and there. And our specialty is really interviews. Like in the last year, we've talked to, well, we had an interview series with Bruce Hornsby. I never had this grand career plan about, you know, sort of being the big star. Dave Bickler, the guy who sang Eye of the Tiger with Survivor. You and I wouldn't be speaking together if it wasn't for Eye of the Tiger. It, it changed everything for the band, that's for sure. Larry Burnett, one half of the singer-songwriting team in Firefall. I was a big fan of injecting shit into me. And I shot heroin and cocaine. It really wears you down when you're trying to maintain some kind of a busy career in the music business. Bill Bruford, the original drummer for Yes. We Brits are determinedly arrhythmic. People are just embarrassed about rhythm here. It's just, it's, you know, drum is a kind of a joke. Also Bernie Ledden, who just recently toured with the Eagles for the History of the Eagles tour and was a founding member the, that original core of the Eagles. We've still got right now a long-running series with our interview with Bernie Ledden. You know, I mean, I had poured the beer on Glenn said, you know, at a band meeting in 1975 and then agreed to leave. You know, I, I said, I'm going to leave the band. And... Jack Temchin, who's a singer-songwriter for the Eagles and Glenn Fry solo stuff. The only original member left in Quiet Riot, that's Frankie Benelli. Jeff Coffey, former lead singer of Chicago. Glenn Shorek, the guy who sang almost all the hits, for the Little River Band. That's a great series. Check that on our channel. Yeah, happy anniversary, baby. 29 times. Not exactly a challenge. Carmine Apiece from Vanilla Fudge and Rod Stewart's band. He co-wrote Do You Think I'm Sexy? We talked to Steve Hackett of Genesis twice, former lead guitarist of the band. Uli John Roth and Michael Schenker, known for The Scorpions. We also had an exclusive interview with Alan Parsons and Randy Bachman. Then there was former Elton John guitarist Caleb Quay. Jim Messina from Loggins and Messina. He had a little brother named Kenny. When he showed up, he's supposed to have some tapes. When he showed up, he'd had no tapes. So it was a little awkward. And I said, well, um, how about you got to you bring your guitar? Oh, no, I didn't bring a guitar. That's awkward. Now, no tapes, you know, no guitar. And here we are having dinner, getting ready to audition somebody. Long interview series with Steve Lukather, Luke and Steve Pocaro of Toto and Eddie Money, and that's just a few of the people we talked to just in the last year. So we do current music news, but we also like to interview artists. And all the interviews you hear on this channel, you will not hear anywhere else. A lot more classic, exclusive interviews coming up for Rock History Music. Stay tuned, and thank you for subscribing. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music.